Hi guys, I'm Mike, CEO of Clevetura. My name is Discord, it's Misha Sam, and this is a video about how to make clicks on CLV X1. So this week I'm in the office, so this is my working desk. This is my CLV X1. It's uh, disassembled without the bottom, uh, without the bottom aluminum cover because I just frequently flash it. So anyway, let's start. There are two principal ways to make clicks. One is to make a tap gesture on the touch area. This is a touch area. This inside the line, this is a touch area. So one way is to make clicks is to make a tap on it. Let me show you. Let's say click here on Techno News. Just a tap without a press and this is a left click. To make a right click, I tap, I tap with two fingers, the same way as on a Windows touchpad with the two fingers. Alternative way, and actually my primary way, is to use these physical click buttons, the two. This is right one for a right click. And that's a left one for a left click. Let me. Inside are two Omron Japanese switches. So the feeling is pretty nice. But uh, why I prefer to use them? Because I'm two hand typer. So usually my thumb is located in this space bar area. So I make gestures, I'm a right-hander, so I make gestures with the right hand and uh, click with uh, left thumb. And it's very, very quick. So this is why I prefer them. But I know that uh, guys in the team, uh, some of them, up, uh, some of them prefers to use the tap to make clicks. So it's also easy uh, the thing is you need to understand the amount, amount of force you need to apply uh, to make a light, to make a tap, but not the key press. Because if I make a key press, you see I'm typing here. Because this is a keyboard, right? This is a key press, this is a keyboard. It's in the uh, blue color, it's in the keyboard mode. I make a gesture, this is in, in touchpad mode, and then I make a tap and I click. So this is how to make clicks, left and right. Now is how to select the text. So I just type some stuff here. So oh, there are, another way to make tap is to, uh, sorry, to, to make a selection that also two ways. One is to use the touch area and by using the touch area, this is a windows gesture, like tap, tap, and move. So to make a double tap and move without the second release. Tap, tap, no release, move. Let me show you. This is a standard Windows way. It's not the simplest gesture. <laughs> However, this is a standard Windows way. You see, so I did it. Tap, tap, and move. And this is, this is a selection. So it's holding, no, no line breaks, no whatever. So it's, it's, it's working, it's not the easiest, but if you are using, if you are familiar with the Windows way, how to make, uh, how to operate with a touchpad, this is the same. So, sorry. Uh, the second way, actually, my per, like primary way, oh, sorry, is to use click buttons. So I just press with my right thumb, I press and hold, and with the left, you see, so I'm, I'm selecting. And it's, for me, that's, that's, and again, not, not because I can't use tap, just because that's quicker. And we did a lot of tests that's quicker, but that's not for everybody. So there are two ways how to make click, 
left and right, and how to make a selection, drag and drop. One way, by using the tab gesture with one, hand, with one finger, sorry, for a left click, with two fingers for a right click, and with uh, like double click and move for a selection by the touch area, and with this, the, with this physical click buttons, with Japanese Samron switches, with a nice, nice tactile feeling with a thumb. This is the second way. So I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.